Now that we've organized and joined the data we want to view inside our domain, let's build an ad hoc view to visualize it. On the Jasper Report Server homepage, select Create under Ad Hoc Views. Let's take the previous food domain that we created and click Choose Data. Here we can see the individual fields that are displayed in our domain. Let's select all of them and click OK. Here we are in our ad hoc design space where we can begin analyzing data. In the lower left measures panel, let's double click Profit to add it to our column section. We can also double click Store Country and Store City from our Fields panel to add them to our rows. Now let's change our visualization type from Crosstab to Chart and select the gear icon in our canvas to make the chart type Dual Level Pie. We can close this view and create the title Profit by Country and City. Now on the Ad Hoc menu, select the Save icon and Save Ad Hoc View As. Use the same name, Profit by Country and City, and save our first Ad Hoc View in the Public Workshop folder. Now that we've created our first view, let's create a second to link up within our dashboard. From here, you can select Create, Ad Hoc View. Now use the same food domain, move over all fields, and select OK. We'll use Chart as the visualization type and change the type to Line and close the dialog. Double click Profit for the measure and drag into the columns area. Store name, store country, and store city. Now you can double click the date or drag it into the rows area. We also want to right click on store city and select create filter. We'll keep the defaults that are created for us in the right filters panel and remember to hit apply. Now drag over both the row and column data level sliders to see our full view of the data. We can put a title on our chart, Profit Timeline by City, and Save As by the same name, placing this last ad hoc view into our workshop folder. With both these interactive views created, we are now ready for the final step of building our dashboard.